What's the tea, everybody? Listen. Oh my god, I always say that! <laughs> What's the tea, everybody? Now, y'all know, for whatever reason, I am known for being the troll of the RuPaul's Drag Race stratosphere. But as I'm watching season 16, I think my special guest today has me beat in that department. I have been following her across all social medias and reporting her account on every avenue and it still has not been banned. I don't know how that's possible, but I brought her here to get to the bottom of it. Now, this woman can best be described as an unearthly being. She's kind of like Irene the alien without the ice water. And today I thought I'm gonna take this crazy and I'm gonna turn her into a beautiful puss uh, woman. So we're gonna scrub her down and get her back to her bare necessities, back to her bare skin, and then I'm gonna give her the ultimate drag transformation. So let's get right into it. And baby, we definitely are gonna be up till dawn. Now listen, <laughs> that is always my go to. You know, we're gonna leave it in, we'll leave it in, we'll leave it in. Okay, listen. <laughs> No! He said, F it. Now listen. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, wow, the first thing I told her was you cannot say the F word. I know, I'm sorry. You cannot say I'm F sorry. you cannot say F Bleep, bleep. I be cursing. Anyway. <laughs> What's the tea? How was life? How was, how was life as a drag race star? First you were on the stage at RuPaul's Drag Race getting judged by RuPaul. Now you're getting judged by all of the girls at home. You're on the most nasty, rotted, like, well, I don't know, because I'm kind of like congenial and sweet, would you not right. agree? Yeah, of course. For but sure. yeah, now you're on even bigger stages than RuPaul's Drag Race here on my YouTube channel. <laughs> in the home of millions of people. Yes, and I'm very excited to be here. I think the Mistress fans are probably very kind, accommodating, polite, um, and I'm really excited to expose myself to them. Now, before we even get started, you know the girls are repping the MIB merch. Now, you can get only, not only my merch, but you can get Don's merch as well, bossevents.com, but you can get this beautiful cowgirl shirt, mistressisabelle.com. Get it now, you know, it's, it's usually sold out, but I'm gonna put some on the website when this video goes up. Get you a piece. Because listen, this shirt instantly makes people hot. Like, I'm not even attracted to like little elves or twinks, but I don't know, I might. We're both gonna be trying something different today. <laughs> <laughs> now, with that being said, have you ever been painted by someone else? I've literally, maybe like in high school, you know, like just some pretty shit, but uh -huh. I've never, I've never let anyone paint my face. I'm very uh, protective of my vibe in drag, mm -hmm. and I paint very large for a reason, and I'm very curious to see what awakens in me. If someone does not know who you are, they've never seen your drag, like, how would you describe it? Three words. The vibe of Dawn is too much fun and, uh, Silly. <laughs> I was thinking like beautiful, enchanting, mesmerizing. Um, um, what's the word? Puss. Okay, so today, you know, the girls would usually describe this makeup using a word that we cannot say anymore. So we're gonna say it's very like puss, very like uh, very woman, very lady. Uh huh. Mm. Have you ever hooked up and drag? No, not my vibe. Ooh. I love to be a little slut. Okay. Dawn is asexual. Okay. Yes. Maybe like asexual lesbian leaning, but like asexual. I love 100%. it. So you've never been painted by someone, but have you ever painted Trey? You know what that means? A mistress. Uh, That's a yes for you. No. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Look, no, I've never no. done it because I'm celibate. I'm saving myself for marriage. But I've heard the girls do it, it's okay. No, I Plain Jane never. was here a few weeks ago and she said that she's painted Trey before, so. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Oh, clock that tea. But you know what, we're gonna get started. We're both gonna change into something a little more comfortable. We're gonna lay the brows down, lay the basis, and let's just jump right into it, make her very, ah, uh, very womanly. Okay, so we are back and I finally got a hold of this alien bitch. I had to bring her in, but how are you feeling? I feel naked, I feel vulnerable, I feel afraid. Literally um, naked and afraid. And I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> I already laid down her brows, we covered her original brows, and you know, now we're we're going for what what is your vision? Because I have my vision. I'm like, I see you as a canvas and I'm going to turn you into a beautiful woman who is giving like supermodel me. What? What? Like drag queen woman, you know what I mean? Like a, like a, maybe like, maybe she's a call girl. Maybe she's 
turning tricks? Like what's, what's your vision? So my vision is horror mixed with fantasy, mixed with uh, big brow bone and a sharp jaw. The first step to becoming a woman is to believing and like getting, like believing yourself to be the most powerful being because women are powerful beings. I can be gorgeous. However, mm -hmm. we do have our work cut out for us. I, I pick, you know, I'm trying to be a bit sanitary. These brushes are covered in purple. <laughs> I'm seeing some blue. So she may go from like beautiful woman to like alien superstar Juno Birch. We'll, we'll have to see what it gives. But we have to feel the essence of being a woman before we transform because yeah. have you ever painted like very womanly before? Okay. I would say the most womanly that I've ever painted, the most like dainty lady was probably on Drag Race. And I don't know if I have really gone further than that, other than like being 19 in a dorm room and my friend painting my face really poorly. So, and that was not the fantasy. That's where you go home and you cry and you wipe all the makeup off. Oh my God. So what she's saying is she's never had the full plus fantasy. Mm -hmm. And if anyone is going to transform someone into a beautiful, natural woman, it would have to be the most beautiful and natural woman. Of course, Hello. of course. I'm ready to bring out the, not only, the, the outside beauty doesn't really matter that much, it's about what's inside. And the good thing is what's inside is already rotted and disgusting. <laughs> so it only goes up from here. We can only win tonight. So I say we get going. Let's jump in. So are you one of the girls who reads the comments or like do you avoid them? So when the season started, I was reading the comments boots. I was, some would say overhyped after promo drop. People were very excited to see me on the show. Okay. And at this point, I haven't really done anything. <laughs> They're safe, 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 safe. And so I started seeing comments about me underperforming, Ooh. boring, shitster. And started making me feel bad of myself. So and that was so all, <laughs> those, all those comments were just from plain Jane. <laughs> yeah. She hasn't even dove into the comments you are leaving God, below. I know that that wasn't actually my comment section. Those were my text messages <laughs> from plain. Yeah, no, I don't read the comments anymore. But sometimes if I'm feeling real like chaotic, silly, goofy, I'll just, you know, who doesn't love a little bit of self-destruction spiral, right? No, literally, baby, uh, I literally would be like, I'm at my wits <laughs> in. I'm intentionally triggering myself. I'm like, I'm like, I can't do it. <laughs> literally me, like every Tuesday night after the episode airs, it's always like this cycle where it's like, Friday night, I feel puss, I feel slay. Saturday, Sunday, I'm in some other state and people are literally paying money to meet me and I feel so <laughs> or I feel so fierce and then, Monday, recovery day. Tuesday, spiral day. Hate oh. myself all day. I'm just like sitting there scrolling through every single app saying, oh my God. <laughs> so what you need to know is if you want to make her really upset, <laughs> Tuesday is the day to leave your comments. But today is the day to leave your comments on this video. <laughs> Everyone make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me across all the social medias. Baby, you know I bring it to you every time y'all be eating the plate, but listen. Here, use my comment section of the journal. Leave some love, leave some hate, talk about your day, whatever. Tuesday, that's the day to get uh -huh. to die. Oh my God, I literally feel like I'm doing like actual makeup. Drag yeah. makeup should never start right there. I'm, I'm warning y'all. Start right where? Like right on the eyelid. Oh God. Like one little like singular like transitional color. Well baby, I got these like hooded fucking eyes. So make sure you're taking that into account, honey. I open them, lid space, gone. Just brow. We're using your natural features to really just like accentuate, you know what I mean? We'll make sure you accentuate them. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> that is, you know what? The season 16 girls love to read. We are nasty. Y'all are nasty, nasty <laughs> girls. Yeah. It's always the quiet ones you have to watch out for. Do you agree? Um, yeah, for sure. You know, Maya's probably got a whole lot going on. Oh, I was about to ask you, who do you think is like, People have their perception from TV, mm -hmm. but TV is not always reality. Yeah. Who do you think of your cast is like the most nasty, shadiest girl they wouldn't expect? Q. Really? Yes. I am a big makeup girl. I think the very first time I did makeup, I was trying to emulate Trixie. So that's the place to start. Oh, so you're a Trixie stan. I'm not a Trixie stan. Oh, <gasps> she hates Trixie Mattel confirmed. That is absolutely crazy. Trixie, I'm so sorry. I literally have a poster of her in my room, but I'm not- So a the girls be undercover stan. It is not adding up. 
So she is a fan. She's not a fan. She has a poser. No, 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 she's no, no, replicating. No. She I, hates Trixie. Girl, it's not out enough. I am a fan of Trixie. I wouldn't call myself a Trixie stan. However, I do listen to her podcast, watch her videos every week, and watch the pit stop. But she only consumes all her content. Has a poster of her in a room, a framed photo. And side. started my drag journey uh -huh. by imitating her drag. Yeah. So maybe I'm a little bit of a stan, but that's cringe. <laughs> do you think one day the girls will be emulating you? They, or is it already happening? Well, I don't know about the girls, but um, the baby queens certainly are. I love, I love, 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 love when someone that's like just trying drag for a first couple times like tags me and they're like doing my face. I think it's really sweet. I think that a big makeup resurgence is on the rise because like that 2017, 18 kind of mug with like the big white cut crease. I think like Naomi Small's All Stars 4. It's, it's coming back. It's coming back. It's, it's, it just has to, because we've been in this like dainty little makeup era for so long. Please don't talk about my makeup like that. Oh my god. Like I mean, it's it's hard because I'm not used to doing those big kind of shakes. I know. Those are for people with like really fat faces. I know, and that is not you, baby. Thank you. So is it true that you hate fat people? <laughs> I've, I've I've seen you've already been in some controversy. What? Where? <laughs> you see you on Twitter acting a fool. Oh, I do be acting a fool on Twitter for sure. Do you feel like your social media is like an accurate representation of you? 100%. Because <gasps> here's my thing, right? I, at my core, am a nosy younger brother, okay? Mm. I live for mess, I live for drama. Not like in a nasty way but in like a fun way, you know? The, the problem, the mistakes that are being made is that people take me seriously. That's that's where you're so, wrong. So we're not supposed to take you seriously? No, nothing I say should be taken seriously. I used to have I used to have a pen, pinned tweet that was everything I say is sarcastic unless it's about how pretty I am. But I wouldn't take that seriously either. Aliens aren't like pretty, like, I mean, I need to stop saying you're an alien because that's like I reign the alien. You're Dubois. more like, you're, you're more like intergalactic. <laughs> it's like, okay, to me, and this is the comparison I always say, and I'm gonna say it here too. You know Yoshi? And you know how there's like a there's like a main Yoshi, right? But then there's also Yoshi's Island, where there's like blue Yoshi and yellow Yoshi and pink Yoshi, right? To me, Dawn is like Yoshi. So there's a main Dawn, but then there's also like a whole species of Dawns that live somewhere else. There's intergalactic dawn, woodland dawn, elf dawn, spiritual dawn, bitchy dawn, you know, a lot of different divas. Maybe I'm schizophrenic. Do you feel like you're the supreme? Are you Are you? Yes, the yes, I am the dawn. Oh wow. I there broke you, the dawn. There you go, the girl is so narcissistic. I know, God. How dare I say that I am myself? That's crazy. We have to talk about your reactions to Plain Jane On every <laughs> single episode. Well, okay. How you pay dust when you're not playing someone, that's exactly what you're giving. You're like, I don't pay dust. I very visibly pay her you annoying. Shade her, <laughs> yeah. Shade her down. Here's the thing about Plainy Poo. I just have such a good bullshit radar with her that she just opens her mouth and then and I just know when she's being sarcastic and when she's being facetious and maybe perhaps not truthful. Ooh. And every time I hear, I'm just like, oh my god, here we go. But I think it's funny. I kind of I kind of love her for it. So you're a stan. I wouldn't call myself a plain Jane stan. Do you love her or do you hate her? I love plain Jane. Okay. I love plain Jane. Do you feel like she loves you? Yes. You think I she do. would answer your phone call right now? Yes, I do actually. Let's see. I wait. <laughs> I hope she does. Y'all gonna gag! No, no, no. This channel is cursed. Nobody it, answers phone calls on air. Should we also elaborate that it's 4 a.m. her time? <gasps> no! <laughs> That's unimportant. Let me call Plain Jane. You know what actually one of my greatest fears is? She does not have her number saved. That is so shady. It's literally in there as Plainy. Her picture? <laughs> Plain, yeah. you disappoint me yet again. Plain does not <laughs> feature the girls. Clock that T. I'm embarrassed for you. I know. What is with your past not answering each other's phone calls? Even <sighs> Lucy would answer my phone calls during the season. Just during the season? You know, we talk every night. You know, when your sister and your sisters. Of course. And do you feel like you're close to all the girls on your cast or what's the tea? I actually do. I, I mean, I'm like closer to some more than others. Who are you closest with? And I'm closest with Amanda. Ooh. Love Miss Meat down to death. I would do anything for Amanda. Mm -hmm. 
Oh <laughs> my god. I'm sorry. Wait, you're burping, you look absolutely crazy. <laughs> Who are some important women in your life? My mom. Obviously. Is she a supporter of the drag? She arts? loves the drag. It's so cute. Her and my dad have viewing parties every week for Drag Race while I'm on it where they like invite all of their like co-workers who love Drag Race. Mm -hmm. It's very cute, I love it. Does your dad support drag as well? Yeah, he loves it. I love that. Yeah. What do they think about Queen J? <laughs> <laughs> Why do I know your dad is shredding Queen <laughs> You know what? I don't believe that I have spoken to my parents about Queen Jane. But have they spoken to you? She's trying to bullshit, she can never bullshit a bullshitter. What have they said to you? I don't think- Ooh, she tried to get me right there. She goes, you know, I, I don't think I've ever said- Don't play with me. I think, um- Ooh, she's trying to get her Miss America moment. <laughs> Very womanly. I, okay, if I remember correctly, I think maybe my dad said that she was doing too much. Okay. All. And I, I, I didn't corroborate or, or agree, you okay. know? I just said, okay, no, that's good. Well, let me see the text. Oh, uh, I got a new phone. It doesn't exist anymore, actually. I'm so sorry. Oh, wow. Is, is drag the dream career? It is. Drag is the dream career. Ooh, it's like, I don't know, not to get sentimental on Mistress's channel of all people, <laughs> but I. it's just everything I've always wanted to do. Or at least just having like a creative job with everything I've wanted and drag is just so fun and fulfilling. I love it so much. Okay, if you were if you were like if you're looking for training in drag, what would your name be? Like what, what is Donatella? Honestly, I feel like the name should be Donna. I feel like Donna Donna probably rides at something fierce, honestly. Donna's giving me like okay, what kind of woman would you be though? I feel like you'd be like chain smoking, nasty rotted still. I feel like it would still be like Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love one too. Donna. Donna Boots. Donna Boots. Last name Boots. First name oh Donna, my god. Boots. First name Donna, last name Boots. Yeah. Name. Donna Boots. <laughs> I feel puss. Donna? I feel puss. I'm here Wait. to bring out people's like inner beauty. Yeah. I'm trying to work on bringing your inner beauty out. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I feel like I'm a very beautiful person. You are. I'm gorgeous. You just radiate as such a nurturing vibe. Thank you. And you're not the first person I've heard that from, even today. Lucy told you that a lot, right? She did, honestly. The thing is, that's kind of why I kept telling her to be real, because I wanted her to tell on camera what she was telling me. Oh. Because she was like, oh, like, I want you to be my mother, be my drag mother, I love you. But then things would just get twisted, and yeah. just a lot of things yourself. I get it. It makes sense. Do you feel like if you were a woman, would you put on a lot of makeup or would you just like try to be running out the house? Like, pay me the fantasy oh. of what your life would be as Donna. I feel like it's it's a fly by the seat of your pants each day. You know, okay. you wake up, you say, who do I want to be on this day? And that might be a big makeup, like throw it on. Does Donna have kids? Baby. No. Does she have a husband? No. A boyfriend? No. Lovers? Sure. Girlfriend, lesbian. Donna's a lesbian. Yeah, boots. Okay, I've heard all I need to know. All right. I feel like Donna's gonna give like bare minimum, like, actually, you know what? Donna's gonna be real sickening little lipstick lesbian, like, <laughs> like very sickening. Ooh, sorry. And, oh, my gosh. This is expensive product. Uh, it's not actually open. Dermablend, if you can send my girl some uh, more <laughs> foundation. This is absolutely, Beauty Blender, actually, if you're watching, <laughs> can we get a sponsor? Because this, I don't know what in the sheen, Baby, this is giving she and Beauty Blender down. I think I've had that for like five years. But it's nice because I can do like my contour and my base all on one Beauty Blender. Cause I can just rotate it. Mm -hmm. Just not it. it <laughs> close your Skeletor mouth. That was giving me like Halloween Town. <laughs> Bitch, that was scary. What is like favorite Halloween movie? Are you a movie girl? I'm I am a movie girl. I'm Wait, not. I'm sorry. I keep asking questions. I feel like I'm like sugar and spice. Like, are you a bike or like a porch person? It's like give, it's giving that down. Oh my god. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you know what's crazy? These days, like every regular, regular girl out there is going to her nine to five. Sometimes wears just as much makeup as a drag queen. It's absolutely insane. Yeah. Like, I feel like I see the girls and like. Some of y'all are stage ready, honey. Honestly, not even just girls, like people just walk around in makeup. It's crazy. Was your experience at Drag Race everything you wanted it to be? Like, before you went, like, first day there, first day filming, 
Was it what you expected? I had so much fun in Drag Race. First day, I feel like part of the reason why I had fun is because I didn't expect shit. I was mm -hmm. like, you go in there thinking you know what's going on, you don't. You never will. You're dumb, you know? Yeah. Like, they're gonna throw something at you and you just gotta go with it. Oh, you're getting into her? Mm -hmm. Hey. Little cream blush. Ooh. That's what I that's what I used to paint my face different colors. I feel so naked right now. What was the first color you ever like first crazy color you ever did? It was that picture you, you painted out for or printed out for plain. Oh really? Was what was the inspiration behind it? Um the inspiration behind that one was shapes and colors. And then I found out after the fact that it was strikingly similar to old Greg. Do you know who old Greg is? No, what is that? Old Greg is like an old um I don't know how, how old it is actually, but it's like a BBC like big look black. What'd you say about this look? Like, give it to her. I gotta be so honest with you, I am obsessed with her. Like, look at these lashes. These, like, big circular lashes are so fun. I made this out of, like, party supplies. Is this chest hair? Yeah, but it's a wig that I taped to my chest. Um, the makeup leaves something to be desired, but I like the intent, you know? Key earring, doing that shit from the start. Hey. We can turn this into this. Yeah, yeah. It gets better, ladies. And if there was hope for this, there's hope for this. Not too much on my girl now. Put her away. I honestly love her and I cannot wait to have her on the channel. Amanda, when you're ready to come, babe, I want Amanda to put me in this look. We're gonna give her another go. I feel like, Amanda, I'm ready when you're ready. No, honestly, that's why I've, that's why I've like tried to collaborate with so many of the girls and talk to y'all because I think y'all done a great job of like, Bring good TV. The girls are all unique and very mm. different. I like that y'all are close, but y'all not afraid to get a little bit messy. And right. that's everything we love about Drag Race. I feel like that's why we're not afraid to get a little bit messy is because we are all so close. So that like anything that I say here, I know that if anyone has a problem with it, they're gonna like text me and it will be fine because we're friends. It's more so like what the fans extrapolate and just decide to feel for us, you know? Mm -hmm. that, that's where it becomes weird. How do you feel about your online following? Like, what is it giving? Like, were you gagged all the oh, followers? Oh, I love them. I, like, the numbers are, like, cute and whatever, and that's fun. I just think it's so sweet to have so many people that are, like, invested in my art and my drag, you know? I just think it's fun. How did you feel about your fan base? <sighs> Baby, the girls do not play. And I love it because, you know, I tell them to jump, and they jump, and I tell them to behave, and they mostly behave. <laughs> I'm very lucky, you know, I, especially doing work the world, I got to experience literally everyone around the world and all the love people show for me, despite of like my Instagram being banned during the show and other things like that. I always say all my numbers don't equate to your followers and support because baby, I stay blessed, stay booked. The lines at DragCon do not lie. I, I love all my supporters. Even all of you out there watching this video right now, it makes me feel so special and I'm so lucky because some of the girls, they're not even relevant during the show. And to have a whole new group of girls come through and y'all are still watching this very video, and honestly, well, that makes it all worth it. I am in it. Well, <laughs> we won't go there. <laughs> I'm feeling very... Are you feeling like sex vixen? Like I feel more like diva who... You don't know you're beautiful, vibes. Oh. And that's what makes you beautiful. She's oh. a little insecure, but like, she's I feel like that, I, she doesn't even realize. I feel like that kind of means that you have no faith in me. No, I have so much faith in you. I have no faith in my bone structure. We've been yapping too long. I'm gonna throw on her lashes, her lips, and we'll be back with the full uh, transformation oh. of Donna Boots. Not Donna Boots, it's like. <laughs> we'll be right back with the full Donna Boots. I, I honestly, they say a picture is worth a thousand words, and right now in this video, it's worth a million. How do you feel? I, we, we haven't done the reveal yet. Yeah, I don't know what I look like. I feel good. You know, there's something about a wig and a lash that really brings it together. I'm excited. I feel like a newborn baby. Oh, I feel so pretty. <laughs> I feel. It's giving like 80s sex siren meets young Tammy Brown meets Scarlet Envy. That's like, if I had to put some description. Why is it giving like young Tammy Brown? You're Tam, this you're Tam. Is, I'm Tam, Tam. But are you ready to meet Donna Boop? Tamisha even, yeah. Oh, I'm scared. Okay. Are you ready for the big reveal? I guess. Wait, give it to them. Whoa, what the fuck? 
You kind of look puss. <laughs> I, I, I look incredibly puss. I think you look gorge. This is crazy. I think what it looks so do to good. Me? I kind of look like a sex doll. Like, no, I don't, literally. I don't feel like I look human. I feel like it's giving. You still look. Yeah, you still look intergalactic, like sex doll. Wait, you ate this eye though. Holy shit. That so is... look, all the girls out there, before it even starts, Miss Donka looks uh, puss. Yeah, baby, damn. The Donna Boots. Donna Boots. Okay, look. So can I give notes? No, I'm just kidding. <gasps> I, I don't have any. Honestly, like um, the wig really brought it together. We get wig in the lip. My God. Definitely giving Scarlet Envy a Please. little bit, like pretty version. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, what would you say to Young Don? Trash, boot, and uh, it gets better. Is this the new era? I think we're in a new era of Don. I really am taking Michelle's critiques to heart. <laughs> that clowny bitch. <gasps> I'm. Clock I'm Donna. Team. I'm Donna Boots now. Honestly. My alter ego. Donna Boots. <laughs> Are you gonna start playing like this for all the gigs and they expect this Don? The second the season is over, it's just her. It's just her. Got her here first. Work the world. Work Donna the world. Boots will be working the world. But thank you so much for joining me. You look so beautiful. I hope you actually like really feel so no, pleasant. No, thanks for having me. I, I feel so <laughs> and you really nailed this. This is crazy. Ow! Like, I was not expecting such a serve. So, with that being said, we're gonna go find Donna Boots some trade. If you've gotten this far in the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, leave a heart, leave some hate, leave some love. Make sure you follow not only myself, Mistress of the Bell Brooks, across all social media platforms, but also Up Until Dawn. Mm -hmm. Or Up Until Donna, now. Clap, <laughs> that's it. But with that being said, until next time, bye everybody. Bye.